Week 8 of Super Rugby Pacific and this afternoon we're in the capital city as the champions, the Crusaders, come to town with a 5-1 record to face a Hurricanes team with two wins from five starts so far this season. Looking to outflank the Crusaders but Garden Bashup taken in the tackle and uh, the referee okay, says there's no Offside advantage. At the counter and a penalty goes against Braden Enor. And away it goes from Geordie Barrett. Bangs it through. Three minutes gone in the game, and the Hurricanes lead by three points to nil. And now David Avelli, they leave a big gap, and he's got his pass away nicely. And here's Will Jordan. He'll have too much pace. And Will Jordan scores the opening try of the game, and the Crusaders go ahead. Go all the way back to Tom Christie. First of all, Braden Enor, it was a really nicely delayed pass from Jackson Garden Bashup, who set Savir into a slight hole, but Enor drifted perfectly. Booth, away for Morby, and he slips the pass, oh. and away it goes, and Kariffi scores. Oh. One great work from Josh Morby. Certainly was. There's some razzle-dazzle in this movement, the Hurricanes. Plenty of options here for the Crusaders as Drummond just hesitated for a moment. Now Moonga on to Taylor. Should open up here and it does. And a try scored by Quinton Strange. So an endorsement of the decision to go for the line out and the Crusaders back in front. Now Adi Savir up the middle fighting. Leader now, for all his work, the ball is still there though. Big numbers right. Advantage four offside. Now Booth yeah. slings it wide. Garden Bashup. Across it goes for Morby. And Morby scores in the corner. Josh Morby. Now again, innovation. This time the Hurricanes with the punch. Instead of the predictable full man lineout, they went to a four man. From the sideline, Geordie Barrett. And that won't hit the post, that is dead straight. Snapped up by Cody Taylor, getting very close as the Crusaders pile in after it. Now Drummond works it away. Moanga goes wide, and the try is scored by George Bridge in the corner. Just methodical Crusaders. They did really well to repel the line out to the Hurricanes. But again, they just have so many threats across the park. Booth again. Garden Bashup, ball knocked down oh, by the Crusaders player. And snapped up by Proctor. Good strong run, Billy Proctor. And he got the pass off. Yeah, and done. it's a deliberate penalty against on. the Crusaders. Oh, a deliberate knockdown. Bangs it hard and bangs it through. So Geordie Barrett kicks his second penalty goal right on the stroke of half time. Booth again. This time TK Howden, Julian Savia. Five metres away before he's Advantage. tripped up and it's been turned over. No, it's a penalty. Here he goes now, looking to add another three, which he does. Ball is there for Mitch Drummond. And here's Williams, big and powerful. Oh, he's lost the ball, but he lost it backwards. Here's Blackadder again. Oh, he stretched and scored. Of the Savia brothers, Kariffi away for Barrett having a go at the line. Good defence on him. Roy Gard again. Off it goes to Garden Basher, puts a fend on. Got it away to Morby. Again, the Crusaders' defence rallies. Roygaard goes again. It's been lost in the tackle. And they'll play an advantage here. And opportunity lost. Now the pass is delivered up for Flanders. Right to the 22 they go. And the ball is loose. Oh, penalty! Well, 
this is brave. This is very brave. Oh, I think from that range, that angle, Geordie Barrett's a 90 to 95 percent chance of kicking that and sending it into extra time. James O'Reilly to throw, lobs it in. Hurricanes, I think, have won it. Crusaders certainly competed. It's in there somewhere. And it's going to be a scrum, but it won't be. It'll be full time. It yep. is full time. It is full time. And maybe a controversial finish to the game. But they'll just have to shake hands and move on.